Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dan again from CryptoCamacho.com, where each day I bring you the latest news, tips, and tricks to help you make more money in this crazy cryptocurrency revolution that's going on right before our eyes. Today, guys, I have a really special episode for you. I want to talk about a company that has been around for at least five years, and they're moving now to build out and launch an ICO to help them disrupt their industry and essentially bring supply chain management for manufacturing into blockchain, into cryptocurrency. I'm really excited about this one, guys. I think it has a ton of potential in 2018, 2019, and beyond. And I think these guys are really onto something. They're established, and I wanna let you guys know first so that you guys could jump on if you're interested. So what I'm talking about, guys, is a company called SyncFab, SyncFab Manufacturing Blockchain. So right out of the gate, SyncFab revolutionizes the manufacturing supply chain by connecting buyers directly to hardware manufacturers through the blockchain. So traditionally, supply chain management uh, and really the overall you know, manufacturing supply chain industry is very complex. It's very complex and logistics heavy, right? Connecting buyers with sellers, working with intermediaries or working with middlemen, you know, trying to get analytics around how the processes actually work you know, generating invoices and POs for parts and, and service and so forth and so on. It could frankly be a big, big nightmare. The, the supply chain industry is very, very complicated. It's convoluted. Um, there's a lot of kind of dirtiness in the industry in terms of really inefficient processes. And SyncFab, what they're trying to do is they're trying to really break this down, simplify the process, and ultimately disrupt the industry by bringing these processes onto the blockchain. And, and so what I really, really like about SyncFab is that they're not just some random company coming out of nowhere, launching an ICO, trying to disrupt the manufacturing industry. These guys have been in this industry for a long, long time. They're based out of the San Francisco Bay Area, which is where I am from. Um, and they've been doing this for, like I said, at least five years. And so before we jump into the ICO and the specifics of the ICO and why I think it's a really, really good investment moving forward, I want to first jump over to the company itself SyncFab. So SyncFab.com has been around for right for about five years, guys, or, or even more. You can go to their website right here. You can check out what they currently do. This has nothing to do with cryptocurrency or blockchain, but what they're trying to do is revolutionize their own business, their own business model by bringing what they already do onto the blockchain, right? So what they do today, they source CNC machine, machinery, they supply chain management tool to procure, track, and organize your local parts production. So they've already kind of launched this, this tool, this application or this platform to allow buyers and sellers to connect through software, right? Through software right here. And they're trying to take this to the next level by really bringing it in to blockchain, into cryptocurrency by launching and funding an ICO and then actually building out the platform on top of blockchain technology to really, really disrupt the industry and to ultimately create, to create a network or an ecosystem of, of, of manufacturing buyers and sellers that, that work in the supply chain, if you will. So one just quick thing I wanna show you is uh, about the team here. I'm on their main website. If you go to About Us, you'll see that this company has been around for quite some time. Uh, I believe it's five years. You know, they're local in the, the San Francisco Bay Area. Yep, they've been around. Uh, since 2013 uh, in the Bay Area, they're in San Leandro, which is in the Bay Area, which is uh, close to where I, I live myself. Um, so maybe I'll even go down here and visit these guys, maybe interview the CEO, something like that, take a tour of the plant, uh, just to give you guys a real good feel of what this company does and how established they actually are. So I don't want to spend too much time on their actually, you know, their website, their legacy uh, company and so forth, because what I really want to spend the time on is focusing on this ICO and focusing on why I think this ICO is going to be big in this coming year, right? And I think it's gonna have a lot of potential for early adopters that get in and invest in this early on. So I've already gone through this and let's kind of go through this side a little bit, right? So recent ratings, and these are just ICO ratings from different agencies now that are starting to rate ICOs, ranked very high. Obviously that's a very, very good sign. Um, ranked, you know, almost the highest for all three of these in terms of the ICO, you know the ICO is not a scam because of the company that's built behind it that already exists. You can actually call them, you can actually go to their offices and visit them, right? So they're gonna be much less likely to scam you because they have an established business already and they don't want to um, tarnish their good name by launching a fake ICO. So that should give you comfort in and of itself, right? Just to know that there's a company backing it. I love to see companies moving into cryptocurrency and blockchain that already have an established business concept, that already have an established company. And in this case, they have a physical location where you can actually go. So I love that, right? 
So going through this, hardware innovator, eliminate intermediaries and brokers to lower the cost and to increase your revenue. We directly connect you to hardware manufacturers and provide a effortless production tracking. Very, very good. That's a very big piece of this production tracking and analytics, which I'm going to get into in just a moment here. Hardware manufacturer, a limit marketing costs by having buyers directly connect to your manufacturing facility. SyncFab guarantees payments through our smart contracts and give you full control of pricing and capabilities. So essentially all of the pricing, all of the logistics, all of the payment methods, payment options and ways that you typically would do through POs, invoices, negotiation back and forth, it's all going to be done through the blockchain on this platform that they're looking to build out with the funds from the ICO that they're trying to raise. Okay, so how does it work? SyncFab, benefits, of hard, benefits to hardware innovators. Cheaper and higher quality quotes from the source, on-demand purchasing, tracking, and reordering. Connect with a network of local vetted manufacturers. Secure transaction and communications through smart contracts. And the benefits to hardware manufacturers. Eliminate marketing costs by having, direct, having buyers directly connect to your manufacturing facility. Guarantee payments through smart contracts. Complete control of pricing and capabilities, which typically is very difficult because there's not typically that one-to-one -one relationship. It's harder. And so you have to have set pricing. Um, it'll be easier to do with, the, with the, the supply chain on the blockchain. Less headaches and overhead and process to focus on producing the best quality products. So I want to stop right here and just in, in focus on that for just a second, because if any of you have worked in the supply chain industry, know anything about supply chain management and the logistics and complexity behind that, you'll know that this industry is, is very, very complex and, and really a nightmare when it comes to connecting buyers and sellers in a very efficient and effective way without bloated third-party co uh, third costs or intermediaries through research firms, through um, logistics, through all these different kinds of things. It bloats the price, right? So I want to just give you a quick view. Um, so, so what is supply chain? And I want you guys to understand this because I want you to understand what SyncFab is trying to do and how important is it. So let's jump over to Wikipedia really, really quick. A supply chain is a system of organizations, people, activities, information, and resources involved in moving a product or service from a supplier to a customer. Supply chain activities involve the transformation of natural resources, raw materials, and components into a finished product that is delivered to the end customer. In sophisticated supply chain systems, used products may re-enter the supply chain at any time where residual value is recyclable. So when you think of supply chain, think of anything manufactured. Think of like an airplane, right? How is an airplane manufactured? You got to think of all the little parts that go into an airplane to manufacture an airplane. It's all originating from raw materials, then goes through factories, is produced, then is all kind of put together to build an airplane. There's a ton of logistics and, and, and things that go along with that. Think of also like a manufacturing plant where they make like pasta or where they make like anything, any type of food. A lot, a lot of different parts, a lot of different types of parts, a lot of different machinery, a lot of different types of processes, um, all based on supply chain. They get all those parts by farming them out from, from different manufacturers, right? Somebody has to go and actually go to a network and actually go buy those individual parts as they break, as new machinery is created, so forth and so on. And you can imagine that it could be a very big nightmare to, to do this kind of on a one-to-one -one basis, right? So last thing on, on Wikipedia that I want to read, supply chain management encompasses the planning and management of all activities involved in support, sourcing and procurement, conversion, and all logistics management activities. Importantly, it also includes coordination and collaboration with channel partners, which can be suppliers, intermediaries, third-party service providers, and customers. In essence, supply chain management integrates supply and demand management within and across companies. Supply chain management is an integrating function with primary responsibility for linking major business functions and business processes within and across companies into a cohesive, high-performing business model. So you can imagine this is very, very complex. And just expanding on this picture to show you kind of what this looks like. So look at this as like supply chain. And this is very, very simple, you know, very, very much simplified. Um, but you have raw materials then those raw materials go to a supplier after they're processed and manufactured, they go to a supplier that, you know, maybe it's a, a tier one, uh, tier two supplier, right? That tier two supplier then ships to the tier one supplier, which connects with their computer directly to a wholesaler who connects to a retailer who ultimately connects to an end customer, right? And this process, depending on what you're manufacturing, depending on what you, you need, you know, depending on what the buyer and seller are trying to do, can get more and more bloated, more and more complicated, can have more and more layers in between. Another way to look at this is take a look at this complexity of traditional manufacturing relationships. You can see customers and suppliers and how they're connected together 
is not clean. It's not efficient. It's a very, very uh, inefficient um, process and logistics heavy process. I mean, customers are constantly going back and forth with factories, um, through email, through fax, through spreadsheets, trying to just figure out what supplies they actually need. So, you know, figuring out what the cost should be, figuring out what the terms of the agreement should be and all this back and forth, you know, uh, back and forth. The factories that are selling directly to the customers, they actually have to interface with the suppliers in the same type of way, right? Through faxes, through emails, through spreadsheets and things like that. And again, just a very big logistical nightmare. So I wanted to show you this to give you kind of some context and some depth to what SyncFab is trying to actually solve for. They're essentially trying to bring this whole scenario right here. And, and trust me, it gets a lot more messy than this simplified um, illustration right here. But they're trying to bring this entire process into blockchain, right? Onto the blockchain to where it's simplified, to where it's kind of a one-to-one -one relationship with buyers and manufacturers and factories, right? There's a whole ecosystem here that they're trying to um, ultimately decentralize and put on a distributed ledger through, through blockchain. And that's what their ICO is looking to do. So now that we have that covered, we've gone through some of the kind of intricacies of supply chain management. I want to also just kind of go through a little bit more uh, of the ICO itself. So what the token is, it's MFG tokens, powered supply chain. And this kind of just goes through and gives you an idea of what the token will be. The MFG token is a utility token used on the SyncFab platform to reward purchases and manu purchasers and manufacturers, make payments, protect intellectual properties, uh, promote trust and transparency through the execution of smart contracts and the blockchain, right? So here's some unique capabilities that they're going to offer. Cre create unique bid auctions to incentivize manufacturers for faster quotes. Uh, with the MF, MFG token, right? So much quicker ways of getting quotes out there into the cloud so people can see it and, and act on those quotes, right? MFG loyalty rewards can be offered for consistent reorders. So a loyalty program as, you know, similar as many other loyalty programs, but this time it's in the supply chain environment. Uh, buyers are qualified through an upfront MFG token commitment. Manufacturers can provide discounts on the quoted price with MFG tokens. So essentially what they're trying to do is, is ultimately digitize the entire process, right? There's a lot of folks trying to do this in the IoT space, the industrial internet space, right? Um, or the, uh, uh, the internet of things space, right? They're trying to digitize all of these uh, manufacturing processes and supply chain management processes to bring it all into the cloud. And blockchain is like the perfect storm to actually make this happen. SyncFab sees the potential there. They're taking advantage of it because they already have a business built on this and now they wanna take it to the next level, if that makes sense, right? So the good thing is too, is their roadmap has already started way back in 2013 when the company started, right? And in 2013, they started the company, the concept, so forth and so on. And they've actually built out a tool, which you can look at it on, on syncfab.com. Um, if you go back there, you could actually look at their tool and their platform and how it works today and, and just conceptualize how they're going to bring that into the blockchain. So that's one leg up they have or advantage they have um, against others is they already have a tool. They just need to basically bring it onto the blockchain, right? So in Q1 of 2018, they're going to have their token sale to raise funds for the ICO. In Q4, uh, in, oh, sorry, I want to go back to Q2, 2018, they're going to integrate their token into their, their platform. They're going to integrate the, the MFG token that they're creating into the existing platform. So it'll be their 2.0 platform, right? Q3 in 2018, they're going to format buyer blockchain smart contracts. So they're going to enable that ability to use smart contracts between buyers and sellers or manufacturers. Q4, they're going to format manufacturer blockchain smart contracts. And really by 2019, they're looking to launch uh, SyncFab 3.0, which is ultimately going to be their decentralized smart manufacturing blockchain platform, which they're touting now, right? So in about a year's time, they're going to be launching this, um, which I think is an ambitious and very, very good goal. So in terms of funding, they are trying to raise, um, right, uh, a number of funds, 15 million USD, 30 million is the hard cap in USD, or 33,000 Ethereum coins is what they're trying to raise. Right now we're in pre-sale, uh, so you can get in early. If you get in early now, um, you can have some perks, get some bonuses. Um, if you get in by February 15th, which I know is very, very soon, you'll get a 25% bonus. If you go in after February 15th, not a problem. You'll still get a good deal because I think this is going to be very cheaply priced. One Ethereum is going to be worth 
5,000 uh, MFG tokens. So today Ethereum is about $800. So for one, for $800, you'll get about 5,000 manufacturing MFG tokens, right? So not a bad price uh, considering I think what these people are going to do. I mean, less than a dollar by far, less than a dollar per, per token, I think is a fantastic deal. And I think that it's going to go much, much, much higher than that, you know, after 2019, potentially even 2018, when they're um, starting to actually roll some of these things out. So I'm definitely going to be investing in this. Uh, you know, if you guys feel strong about this, you should as well. So I want to also spend just a little bit of time on the team itself. Um, so look at the team over here. Um, the team uh, here, I just want to read this vision really quick. SyncFab is a technology company established in 2013, proudly based in San Leandro, California, which where tech meets manufacturing, right? Our team has a passion for connecting hardware innovators with regional hardware manufacturing through the innovations of IIoT, which I just talked about. SyncFab's technology connects hardware part orders directly to with a growing network of vetted advanced manufacturing facilities mapped by who is local and who is clean. We aim to simplify supply chain management and create a transparent procurement gateway within the hardware manufacturing supply chain. I love it, guys. I absolutely love it. Okay, so what I also want to look at here is their one pager or their white paper. I'll get into some of these FAQs in just a moment here, um, but I really want to spend a moment on their overview, right? So SyncFab project overview. I've already given you a pretty good overview, I think, of what the company is actually trying to do. But let's jump into their overview page, if you will, and just read through this just a little bit. So the problem, today, manufacturers and buyers alike struggle with various burdens throughout the supply chain process. Producers are forced to allocate resources towards finding potential buyers and seeking out orders. On the other side, buyers struggle to find manufacturers who can meet their company's specifications due to a lack of understanding of capabilities. I have direct experience with this. I used to work for Nike. I used to do a lot of uh, sourcing out custom projects for Nike. We would build custom, you know, custom uh, little like marketing materials. We'd, we'd build custom um, fixtures and structures that would go into retail stores. And it was very, very difficult sometimes to find suppliers that can produce certain things that we were looking for. There was no real centralized ecosystem that would help us connect you know with the 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 appropriate suppliers to build out some of the materials that we needed right syncfab i wish existed back then when i worked there about 10 years ago um i wish that it existed so that you know there was something like that for me to go to to do that right okay so next there are lacks there also lacks the ability for timely status reports through the production process costing both sides excessive time and labor uh, to overcome Finally, companies worry about the security of their intellectual property from working with the manufacturer. It, all in all, the supply chain process has multiple overhead costs and inefficiencies which are possible to eliminate. And like I said before, it is a logistical nightmare. Like supply chain is really a logistical nightmare. I don't know how anybody really deals with it on a day-to-day -day basis because it is it is a nightmare. It's gotten a lot better with the internet. It's gotten a lot better with different cloud-based or SaaS type of solutions and technologies, but there's still are a, a number of issues around the industry and, and that's why SyncFab is trying to, to, to fix that. So solution, SyncFab seeks to create the world's first peer-to-peer -peer manufacturing supply chain for public and private blockchains. While large companies have in-house software in, in development, SyncFab bridges the gap for small to medium-sized manufacturing companies in the blockchain industrial revolution. They achieve with this their smart model concept, which includes a web platform and utility token. The platform works with smart contracts to allow purchasers and manufacturers to interact within a peer-to-peer -peer market. When a buyer makes a request for a quote, it is matched with manufacturers who are qualified to fill the order. The purchaser then receives an offer within their maximum allowance. By utilizing the platform, manufacturers can, tr can cut down the procurement marketing fees while purchasers can more easily source capable business partners. So I don't know if you guys are getting the breadth of what this actually means. There's so much they could build on beyond what they're even stating here. And if you look at their white paper and their vision, you could see that beyond what we're just clearly explaining right here, there's other business models that they're going to be able to create. One in particular is all around analytics. I mean, think of the analytics, the rich analytics that they're going to get, that they're going to derive from having this on blockchain. Everything, every interaction, every purchase, every comment, every quote, every part, every custom request, everything, every visit to a page, to a product page, 
um, every interaction, it's all going to be recorded on the blockchain, right? And it's essentially going to be like a micro internet or a mini internet specific to the supply chain for manufacturing, right? They're going to be able to track everything that happens within that ecosystem and the insights that they're going to glean from that are going to be extraordinary, right? Think of think of Netflix, for example. Netflix is so powerful, partly partly because the ecosystem of data that they've created allows them now to produce movies based on what they know their user base will want to watch, right? They know all the demographics. They know their users' behavior. They know what movies they watch. They know how long they watch them for. They know what interests them, what topics, what categories. That's how Netflix works, right? And now they've become one of the largest movie producers in the world, right? They didn't start off to be that, but they've leveraged the power of analytics and data to create a brand new business model, right? That's exactly what SyncFab is going to do and is going to have the ability to do once they decentralize all of the supply chain onto this blockchain that they're trying to create in this new ecosystem that they're going to try to create. It's going to create analytics business models that have never been seen before in the supply chain industry. And that's what I'm very, very excited about. If you go over and you just look, I did a simple, simple Google search, right, for supply chain analytics. And what I found is supply chain analytics market now worth $4.8 by 2019, right? The, the report, supply chain analytics market by solution, supply chain planning and procurement, sales and operations, yada, 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 defines and de defines and divides the supply chain analytics market into various segments. And this kind of just goes through what the industry is, how the industry is broken down. But they're projecting a $4.8 billion market by 2019. And these guys, SyncFab, are set up extraordinarily well to take advantage of that in 2019 when they launched their new platform and new ecosystem. Boom. I, it couldn't really get any better than this, guys. Here's another one, right? Supply chain analytics, market analysis by solution. Again, kind of goes into some of the details of what I was just talking about. You can go and look at this. I'll put this in the show notes. The global supply chain analytics market size was USD 2,725 million in 2016 and is expected to gain traction over the forecasted period. And you look at it right here, the growth projections. Here's 2019 and look by 2025 with IoT, the industrial internet, the industrial internet of things, you're going to see that skyrocket like skyrocket and this is another reason why this play i think is really really good because of everything happening in iot in the industrial internet of things and so forth this is only getting started supply chain is going to grow it's going to get more complicated it's going to get more complex it's going to get more nuanced and these guys are going to put it all on blockchain the analytics angle just in and of itself alone excites me and makes me think that what they're doing is worthwhile, not even taking into consideration the actual ability to connect buyers and, and manufacturers in a much more efficient way. So I think this is very, very good. This, this is, I, I'm loving this, right? Okay, so here's their white paper. It's 64 pages. I'm obviously not going to go through their full white paper, but I do want to give you some uh, visibility into their white paper, right? So I've kind of gone down to section three, uh, 3.0, SyncFab's Pathways to Decentralized Manufacturing, right? Given the burdens of current manufacturing systems, which per, uh, perpetuate lack of transparency and inaccessibility for a multitude of stakeholders within the supply chain, SyncFab's solution attempt to solve complex problems with five key innovations, right? Okay, so I'm not going to go through all these, but let's just read a little more. Traditional manufacturing economies of scale perpetuate a lack of transparency and inaccessibility, reserving privilege access to centralized asset controllers. Another big problem. The largest purchasers, often conglomerates, monopolize access. Brokers control networks and procurement by keeping information in silos, complicating the entire supply chain process so that they can keep their profits up. They're going to democratize this. SyncFab Sync is going to democratize this and equal the playing field for large scale conglomerates to mom and pop shops down below, right? Okay, so a peer to peer P2P ecosystem paves the way to an entirely decentralized supply chain management environment. Innovators, suppliers, and manufacturers regain control over the success, quality, and delivers, delivery of their products. So again, take out the middlemen, take out the intermediaries, take out the third parties, take out the conglomerates, level the playing field. That's what these guys are doing. And, and record it all on the blockchain and make an analytics you know, product out of that. Um, okay, so with smart contracts and smart manufacturing blockchain, uh, decentralizing the manufacturing supply chain economies of scale makes the entire system more accessible, transparent, and profitable to our participants and replaces a predominantly exclusive business-to-business -business model. SyncFab's public-private partnerships and expansion of local ecosystems uh, build trust among stakeholders in the supply chain based on the shared knowledge of track record performance, capabilities, capacities, and ways 
that would transform the manufacturing industry, okay? And it goes through all of these reasons down below. I'm not gonna go through all of it, but you guys can take a look at that. Also, I encourage you to take a look at the FAQs. It gives some more information about what they're trying to do if I haven't broken it down enough. A lot of resources here to understand what they're trying to do uh, and how to actually participate in their pre-sale ICO or in their ICO. Um, that's really it, guys. I mean, I, I do want to let you guys know that this is a sponsored post. Um, you know, for me doing this, uh, this, this review of SyncFab, um, I want to let you know that right out of the gate, let you know that up front that this is a sponsored post. But I have almost never been as excited about an ICO pre-sale as I am now. And even going through this video and looking at all the things and thinking about all the things I've talked about, I'm going to go and I'm going to participate in this today. I'm going to go and send some funds, some Ethereum here, because I truly, truly believe that this company is onto something. I truly believe that they're set up in a very unique way to take advantage of what's happening in cryptocurrency and in blockchain. I think they have, they're have they in a very, very unique position to leverage their existing platform SaaS solution that they've already created and literally just bring it onto the blockchain and democratize it for the entire world. Big businesses, small businesses, uh, big manufacturers, small manufacturers alike. I think they're going to equalize the playing field. And I think this is uh, this is fantastic. Um, again, super excited about this. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'd love to know your comments and your feedback uh, down below um, in, the, in the comments section. If you guys have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do by clicking on that little red button. Um, I'm very bullish on SyncFab. I would love to know if you guys are bullish on SyncFab as well. I also would love to know, would you guys like me to go into their facilities and try to talk with their CEO, try to do an interview, maybe even take a tour of their plant take a kind of an inside look onto their platform and what they're doing. If you would want to see that, please comment below. Let me know if there's enough people that want me to do that. I will likely go and do that. So please, please let me know by commenting down below. Um, I'm Dan from CryptoCamacho.com. Very excited about this ICO, guys. Um, if you can't tell, I think this is a game changer in many ways. But uh, let me know what you think. And until next time, I'm Crypto Camacho, and I'll see you next time. Later, guys.